terrified of me. They seem to have little respect for their unborn child. It's not a baby right now. It's just a blood clot. What could be said for these women? You guys are all a real good argument for birth control. Partying while pregnant. I smoke weed daily. Next, Charles Perez. On today's show, they're smoking, doing drugs, and drinking alcohol. And they say it's not going to stop just because they're pregnant. find today's show disturbing because there are over 8 million women, women of childbearing age who abuse drugs that cause birth defects. Now we're about to meet some of these women. Welcome my first guest, Marquis. Thanks for being here, Marquis. Okay. Now, Marquis, what's wrong with the way your friend Kathy behaves? Okay, for one, Kathy, she has a nice shape and everything, right? No, serious, serious. It's not a joke. See, she has a nice shape and everything. She looks good. I mean, I have to give it to her. my girl. She's the bomb. But her only problem is she's seven and a half months pregnant. Okay, you know is, is that the problem? That's no. That's still not the only problem. Okay. Cause she smokes weed. She drinks a lot. Okay. And she dress. She flirts heavily and tricks. Okay. What do you tell her? I tell her it's not cool. It's not cool, though. You know what I'm saying? At times, I can say I know I'm wrong for saying it, but I do encourage her to smoke at times. You know what I'm saying? But I don't do it out of spike. I might blow her. I might blow weed in her face. But other than that, wait, 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 wait. Save it. Save the crowd. Save <laughs> Whatever crowd. Whatever crowd. My key. The point is this, what do you want her to do? I would like for her to stop smoking and drinking for the simple fact, because I don't want, you know what I'm saying, I don't want it to affect the, the baby in any kind of way, correct. All right, That's do you want to meet this person. woman who smokes and drinks? Does God know what else? All right, Kathy, come on out. Okay, okay. <laughs> Hold on here. <laughs> Kathy. What, how, how many months pregnant are you? Seven and a half months. You're seven and a half months pregnant. Yes. And do you drink and smoke weed and all yes. that kind of stuff? Why do you do it? Don't you know that's not good for the baby? I know it's not good for the baby, but it's still something I want to do. Um, well, what do you say to people that say, to tell you you shouldn't do that? I tell them to mind their business, because they're not taking care of me. Ain't none of y'all taking care of me. <laughs> well, well, stand up. Let me hear you say that. No, she just don't realize that she's not only hurting herself, she's hurting the baby, too. What should happen is that she'll take the baby. What should, you know what? What should happen is when the baby's born, they should take it from you. Then you say, then you're a bitch. You stop smoking and stop drinking. Kathy, how much do you smoke? Every it's, day. It, it's hard, okay, because it's hard to say. I smoke weed daily, on a daily, daily basis. Daily, and, 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 and how much do you smoke a day? Hmm. What you want to say, dog? <laughs> we can say at least a half ounce a day. What are you doing, Marquis? I'm finna show them something. It's every day. See, baby, money's no object to smoke them type of things, love. We do this every day, on a daily basis, love. Every day. Every day. Yes. Yes, we are. Stand up, please. Whatever, ho. Whatever. Hold on, Marquis. You got Where you from? Uh, you from the West Coast, man. Then you, ho, 
if you wear weed, oh, wear it well. Right here, right here, man. Right here, right here. Yeah, this isn't about a hair weave. It's not about someone in the audience. It's not about you. It's about a baby. We'll be right back. Don't go away. Honest to God, to be beautiful black women, you stupid women. And you with the blood clot, you got a brain clot, baby. But that On Sister, Sister, Tia's out to catch a macho mechanic. No, you really shouldn't distract a guy when he's operating a blowtorch. And she's using her mother's carburetor as bait. You don't need your car anytime soon, do you? No, honey. Good. Then on The Parenthood, Nicholas and Cece are bugging Zarya. Dad, what would you think if I had my own phone? I think you have your own apartment. Now the whole family's under surveillance. We paid you and Daddy last night. Wednesday on WGN Channel 9. It's their turf. It's their world. It's their game. And when we don't play by their rules, the results can be deadly. From the creator of the award-winning television series Wild America comes a home video unlike anything you've ever seen. These are nature's dangerous encounters, captured in one of the most astonishing wildlife films ever made, and available now for the first time as a special one-hour home video. Call this toll-free number now to get Dangerous Encounters for just $19.95. It is not available in stores. Order now, and you'll also receive Watching Wildlife absolutely free. That's right. Both of these extraordinary programs are yours for just $19.95. Call now. For rush delivery, get your credit card ready and call 1-800-889-6600. That's 1-800-889-6600. Or send your check or money order to the address on your screen. Call 1-800-889-6600 right now. Arm yourself with a different kind of protection. Arm & Hammer deodorant antiperspirant. None of these antiperspirants are like it. Only Arm & Hammer has a patented baking soda formula. The baking soda actually absorbs and then eliminates odor instead of just covering it up. That's the difference. And it keeps you dry. So arm yourself with the only antiperspirant that eliminates odor with the power of baking soda. Arm & Hammer. Get Arm & Hammer antiperspirant free when you buy Arm & Hammer toothpaste, coupon, and Sunday's paper. It can happen to a woman. I'm fat and I can't control my food. Or a man. Willpower. It's not an issue of willpower. Whether you're bulimic, anorexic, or a compulsive overeater, eating disorders, an equal opportunity destroyer. It's not your fault. You're not alone. The Raider Institute, 1-800-255-1818. Partying while pregnant? Let's hear what the people on the street had to say about this one. I think it's terrible that a woman can't give up partying when she's pregnant because her baby should be the number one thing in her life. In my opinion, if my wife is carrying my baby, I wouldn't want her to cross the street without somebody helping her. Well, I wanted to party, but I was too tired. We're back and talking to women who party while they're pregnant. What do you have to say? Kathy, I have a question for you. If you're pregnant, right, you want to have a child, right or wrong? Mm-hmm. Okay, you want to smoke, drink, and have party party all the time. When your child comes into this world, you have to understand there's plenty of programs with this, what you're going through right now. I don't understand why you want to bring a child into this world knowing that it's going to affect what you're doing. Well, why do you want to mm -hmm. have this child for? For what purpose? Well, to be a mom. Well, when I don't, got pregnant... Hold on, hold on, don't cry. No, don't listen. cry. I'm don't not cry. finna cry. Because I'm don't... not finna cry. I'm just I saying, understand. this wasn't no planned pregnancy. It hurts, it hurts, though. This was no, no planned pregnancy. That's how I got pregnant, okay? Going out to clubs and stuff. I understand that, but you crying, though. What you crying for? You Do the one out there smoking and drinking. You want to party. Do you see any tears coming out my eyes? Do you see any tears coming out my eyes? Sweetheart, sweetheart. I'm not so sweetheart. Them tears coming out your eyes? You sound so concerned. When I had this baby, I want to see how concerned you be, okay? When that baby come out, when, when I, I had baby this come baby, out, so I hope that baby's fine. Hold on, hold on. Let me let you answer this. 
Hold, hold on for a second, audience. Hold on, hold on, What's hold on. What's he saying? Hold on. Stop crying. Answer, answer the question. Of why do you want to have a baby? Well, it wasn't nothing planned, but since it happened, you know, I got to take responsibility. Okay, okay. What do you say to somebody who says what you're doing is not taking responsibility? Some people say you're not being responsible. What do you say to that? I am being responsible. When I need to go to the eye, I go to the doctor. When I got my son and grand, they didn't say nothing was wrong with my baby. But I know Kat. a lot of girls that have babies that but smoke Kat. weed. But Cat, but Cat, wait a minute, Charles. Let me first, but Cat. But what, wait a minute, wait a minute. But Cat, but one. Wait a minute. Anyway, Kathy, what you do have to look at, though, they are right, and she does have a point. You do have to look out for and the whip. you can't talk. And wait, you can't talk. Wait, Kathy. You do have he to look out for the You know what, Kathy? He is also night. not pregnant. He wait. asked me, do I want to okay? go half he is the not. 20? He asked me. You guys, hold on. I'm going to ask you both to wait for a second. Let me get your comment real fast. I'm saying, what kind of responsibilities you doing when you're smoking? God else knows what you're doing. You're probably shooting up. And for Pookie over no, here, what kind of friend are you giving a crack, whatever, weed and all that? Come on now, you need to lay off. You ain't a friend. You just a host. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and introduce my next guest. My next... Hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Have a seat, all right? I get paid. Hold on. For all my services. Hey, hold on. I'm going to ask you all to calm down for a second, all right? Because I want to introduce the other two ladies that are sitting up here. I want you to meet Inquire and her cousin Jet. Now, Inquire, what's wrong with the way your cousin Jet is acting? Well, first of all, she two and a half months pregnant. She go to go goes. She party all the time. She smoke blunts. She drink, and I don't think she should be doing it. She is pregnant. Well, she, she what does she do with these go goes? She be taking her clothes off, stripping, going home with different boys. Don't go there. She go home with different boys. She go to hotels, bring money back, but saying she ain't having sex with these boys. Come on now. She, what, she think I'm stupid or something? Come on now. Wait, <laughs> wait. Out. So what, what's up, Jack? Are you worried about your baby? Am I worried? Yeah. No, because I'm not far gone to be worried. But I'm not, not big at all. You're not what? You're not... not I'm the not big to be pregnant. worried about anything but that's right not about now. Come on, man. Anything can happen to your what? baby. That's uh, not the point. Hold on though. a second, Inquire. What do you mean you're not big to be worried about your baby? Right. I'm only two and a half months. I'm not really sure to stop going Oh, so it's not just... like you're really pregnant yet? I, I, I'm pregnant, but I'm not... To the point that I have to stop going out or change or stop okay. doing what I'm doing because I don't nobody know but me. But are you going to stop? I mean, you're two and a half months. Are you going to? Oh, yes, I will stop when I at start. At what point showing. are you going to stop at? When I start showing, when I get bigger. What about when, I, when you're seven and a half months like Kathy? Are I, you going to? I will stop. You will, you're going to suddenly stop, stop drinking, yes, smoking. Oh, you do you do drugs? Do you do drugs? I smoke weed, but I don't shoot up and then I smoke. And you take your clothes off in bars and go home with men and show up with money. And you're good. You, what I don't believe is that she's going to suddenly stop. Do you, audience? Well, I'm glad all y'all think y'all know me. Just save it. Hello. The first three months are the most crucial ones when you're pregnant. In case you didn't know it. Thank I've had two kids. I know what I'm talking about. I didn't have to anything, so sit down with that yellow shirt on like that. What do you say to that, Jack? to stand up to say anything to me. Well, hold on. It's not about... What about she her point? She can't correct me. She don't give me nothing. She don't supply me. She don't know me. Can but I, she can't stand up and tell me anything. Can I ask you a question? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Baby, take your glasses hold on. off Jeff? and look at your eyes. Jeff? Can I ask you a question? Um, what is... What makes your baby less important in the first three months than it will be later on? Because of the simple fact, my baby not less important. It's just that don't nobody know but me. So how could they be concerned and don't know? I do know. You don't know. You don't know. I just, oh. I just want to know how old are both. Ladies, hold on, hold on. Save what's it. the what's the oh, age on um, on these women? On these Kathy, how old are you? Nineteen. Jed, how old are you? Nineteen. Nineteen. They're immature. That's what they are. They're just naive. I they're narrow minded. Nine. They're not well, immature. Well, the thing is, is they are. If you call a baby, their babies having babies though. They're gonna be you mothers. Will. Stand up, please. Yes. I got something to say to girl from right here. Jed, girl girl from right Jet, here. Jet, excuse me. We're having to show up here. All right, come on up. Follow with me. First of all, you be in the strip joints, right? No, I don't How? You're not worrying about um, not miscarriages simple. or nothing like that? If you stripping, dancing, shaking your thing, you know what I'm saying? Blood dudes, you know, run. Blood. You know what I'm saying? Girlfriend. What you talking you. about? You. <laughs> 
You, with the smoke and the chronic every day, ounces and all that. Yo, girlfriend, you need to just go get some help. Worried up. You need to get some help. All right, when we come back, a man who says his pregnant girlfriend has to choose. Either it's the drugs and alcohol or him and the baby. Don't go away. For tickets, write to The Charles Perez Show, 514 West 57th Street, New York, New York, 10019. Or give us a call at 1-800-594-4466. Starting school this year with an outdated encyclopedia? Well, start over with the brand new 1996 Compton's Interactive Encyclopedia. The only 96 edition available right now in stores everywhere. Compton's keeps you current with the all-new America Online and Internet Connection. Plus, it runs great on Windows 95 and 3.1. It's got everything. For a limited time, you'll get a World Atlas worth 50 bucks free. Plus, trade in your old CD encyclopedia and we'll send you 10 more bucks. Start over with Compton's for 96. Platoon! What? Huh. Your mother was hot when you lay in You're right. the right. boots are you wearing? You're right. The boot was on sale, so you wear You're right. Get to our biggest boot sale ever. Right now, for a limited time at Payless, tons of kids, women's, and men's boots are 20% off. We're talking boots here. Loggers, hikers, chamois, even fashion boots are 20% off. So hurry, because when these boots get going, they're gone. Sound off. You're right. Let us head off. You're right. Boot sale. Payless. Don't get left. Having trouble losing weight? Maybe you just haven't found the right diet. This week's Woman's World has the answer. Learn how Joan, Oprah, and Dolly found the diets that helped them lose all the weight they wanted. And how you can, too, with a foolproof test to help you find your ideal diet. Revitalize with 11 energy-boosting beauty tricks and our three-minute mood lifters. Learn seven ways to protect yourself from breast cancer. Make these great country kitchen crafts. Make up this adorable scarecrow cake. And so much more, all in this week's Woman's World at supermarkets now. Here's a promise from Sterling Bank and Trust. Open a savings account with us for at least $200, and we'll issue you a Visa or MasterCard or both, regardless of income, employment, or credit history. Guaranteed. Call now to open your account. Your approval is guaranteed. Plus, with our express service, your card will be mailed 10 days after we receive your application and savings deposit. Whether you're starting out or starting over, we promise you will be approved. Disrespectful. Meet teens who are out of control. If I hit him, I'll go to jail. On the next Charles Perez. I say Peace Corps volunteer, you think. Have you ever thought? Or, in today's Peace Corps, people of all ages and almost every profession are working in 93 countries around the world. Ever thought of joining them? Peace Corps, the toughest job you'll ever love. Every morning, in the name of feeling better, Bert Morrow does what he's been doing for years, which includes eating a Chiquita banana, a nutritional powerhouse that helps him give Father time a run for his money. Chiquita bananas, quite possibly the world's perfect food. One difference between You Can Read that teaches with video cassettes and Hooked on Phonics that teaches with audio cassettes is the difference between C-A-T cat and C-A-T cat. You Can Read makes learning to read fun with sight sound, color, and motion. Call 1-800-775-READ. Call within the next 30 minutes and receive a special discount on additional programs. 1-800-775-READ. Drinking, smoking, partying while pregnant? Let's go to the people for this one. I think it's terrible for women parties when she's pregnant. It's bad for her, it's bad for the baby. Yeah, I think it's okay to party during the first three months of pregnancy, but no drinking, no smoking, no drugs. You should never party while you're pregnant, because when you have something this precious, you're going to lose it. All right, we're back with women who party. Get that party while they're pregnant. You had a question or comment? Yes, first, hi, Charles. How are you? Hi. Is it on? It is on. I have a couple of questions. First, for the young lady here in the black. Mm-hmm, Kathy. Do she know or do you know who your baby's father is? Yes, I do. Are you absolutely sure with getting I'm high and I know who doing my things for is. things, you know who the father what is? What getting high got Next to do one, with that? The one here, do you know right. who your baby's father is? Yes. How do you know that? 
I know who my baby father is. I don't think so. I know so. Save it. I don't think so, sister, me. okay? You probably don't know who he is or where he's at. You know, I'm, I'm going to give I'm gonna give you the benefit of the doubt. If you know who your baby's father is, the next que obvious question is, um, where is he? Is he part of your pregnancy? Is he around? Is he... No. Why are you not worried around. about do we have no. a job? If you want to take hold on, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Is he around, Kathy, for no. you? I no, I see him occasionally, far. but... Is he going to be a father to the no. child? He is no Jet, good. same question. Jet. Hello, Jet. Same question. The godmother. I'm going to be the Excuse godmother. Excuse me, Marquis. <laughs> same question. Where's the father? Where's the father? Yes, where's the father? He should be at home now. He should be at home now. Yeah. Is he going to have anything to do with the baby? Yeah. All right, you know, Sorry. let me introduce my next guest. I want you to meet Clifford, his girlfriend, Satasha, and her friend, Tyra. Now, Clifford, what's wrong with the way Satasha treats her, get this, unborn twins? It's all like this. <laughs> Satasha is mad. She goes out, she drinks a lot, and she got to steal. At first, okay, I, I admit, yeah, I smoke weed and everything. And me and my friend Tyra smoke weed, but they, you know, she's carrying my twins. And these is my firstborn twins too, by her. And you know, and dang, for her to go there and mess up like that. And Natasha, then, how often do you drink and smoke pot? Every day. Every day? Yes. How much do you smoke? About um, a blunt, maybe. But every day you do this? Yes. Um, are you ever going to stop? How, well, first of all, how pregnant are you? Five um, months. Five months. Um, are you going to stop? No. You're not going to stop. You're just going to keep doing this all, every day till the babies are born. Yes. You know, let me go to your friend here, Tyra. Yeah. Why are you here? What do you want to say to her? You know, I'm like this. I'm telling Tasha every day. Look, I mean, you can't do the things I do. I'm not pregnant, so I can smoke and drink. So if I'm harming anybody, I'm harming me. I ain't harming no unborn kids. <laughs> so Tasha, respond to her. What do you say to that when she says that to you? Well, they um, smoke and drink around me all the time. I'm the one buying the liquor anyway, so. But you don't got to do what we doing. So, but y'all do it every day What does me. that have to do with the baby? Nothing. What does that have to do with the baby? Nothing. Does, do, do any of the three of you women actually think about the baby? Yes. Oh, what do you think? What kind of role models are you for your babies when they're born? You look like you're dressed like you're going for a party. You know, you have an attitude like, you know, you don't care. And she just don't give a <laughs> she just don't care. You corrected yourself. Yeah. No, good point, though. Um, Kathy, are you going to be a good role model for your child? Yes, I am. Like I said, I'm the mother and the father of this baby. Jet, are you going to be a good role model? Yeah. Yes, you are? Okay. So, Tasha, are you going to be a good role model? Yes, I'm already a role model for my kids. Clifford, how are you going to deal with this? Well, I'm prepared already. Um... I have a lawyer waiting at the airport for me to come back home. If she does not want to quit today, I will take custody of the kids when they're born. Yeah. And Tyra, what do you want to say to her? You know, these are going to be my godchildren when they be born anyway. And I just told her, you know, if she don't stop smoking, I'm just not going to have nothing else to do with her. She can't be my friend because she don't want to take care of herself while she's pregnant. So you're giving her the same ultimatum. Are you, uh, Clifford, are you asking her to choose it's you or the drugs? Yep. Are you asking her to choose, Tyra, it's yes, you or the drugs? There's a lot in your plate here. <laughs> so, Tasha, what's going on with you? What are you thinking right now? Out. Are you, having, are you having a difficulty choosing between the man in your life and your best friend and drugs? No. No. Then what's your choice? I'm gonna stop. You're gonna stop? Yeah. Now, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Why are you stopping? Because I'm, I'm not willing to um, keep doing drugs and I'm pregnant and lose my fiance and a good friend. Okay, wait, but here's the point though. I mean, that's, that, that's good, it's a great decision, but you still didn't quit for the baby. Um, Stan, what'd you say? 
<laughs> Quitting for your fiance and your friend is good, but the baby's first. And unfortunately, you have a choice on what you have to do. Whatever you take, the baby got it. The baby has no choice. That's for all you ladies up there. You could decide tomorrow you can stop. That little unborn baby can't say or do anything. All of you are attractive women. You look good, but you don't know what you're doing to the baby. If the baby comes out deformed or hurt some way because of what you've done, you can't change that. When we return, you're going to meet a woman who says, I'll care for the baby when it's born, but I don't care now. It's time to party. Don't go away. Introducing the Charles Perez Players. You have no idea how crazy my ex-girlfriend was. Why? What did she do? Oh, she's now? just psychotic. Waitress, what can I get you, Dean? <laughs> Are you sabotaging your ex's new relationship, or is your ex ruining yours? If so, give me a call at 1-800-424-1555. He's tough, intense, relentless. Stop! Clint Eastwood. In movie after movie, he takes the law into his own very capable hands. And now you can watch his best movies anytime you want. With Time Life Video's totally uncut, completely unedited Clint Eastwood collection. It's classic Clint, hard as flint. What did you say? I said stick it in your... You're a walking combat zone. People have a nasty habit of getting dead around you. Man's got to know his limitations. Call this number now for your first video. Eastwood's Oscar-winning masterpiece, Unforgiven. The special price is only $9.99. I tell just about everything that walks or crawls at one time or another. And I'm here to kill you, little Bill. And if you order by credit card right now, we'll send you the ultimate bonus video, Dirty Harry, absolutely free. Get the best of Eastwood's entire career, from its spaghetti western beginnings, through Harry Callahan to his current directorial triumphs. A new video about every month and no club to join. Call right now and get it the easy way. He got it the hard way. I think I love you. There's nothing wrong with that. With all due respect, sir, you're beginning to bore the hell out of me. You could ask yourself a question. Do I feel lucky? Well, do you, punk? Remember, your collection starts with Unforgiven, specially priced. And you get Dirty Harry free when you use your credit card. Marvelous. To order your Clint Eastwood Unforgiven video, call 1-800-544-8882. That's 1-800-544-8882. Use your credit card and receive Dirty Harry free. Or send $9.99 plus $3.49 shipping and handling to Clint Eastwood, Department 3, Richmond, Virginia, 23280. This is WGN Chicago. Charles, I don't think mothers should be partying while they're pregnant. Their bodies are going through too many changes, and the party should be over because you made that lifetime commitment. I think it's okay if you're pregnant and you're partying, so long as you don't overdo and you do right by your child. Hey, Charles, how you doing? I wouldn't let my girlfriend go out drinking and smoking. I don't want my child to get hurt. All right, we're back. We're talking to women who say being pregnant is no reason to stop partying. Meet my next guest, Vernora and her sister, Vernell. Now, Vernora... Has your sister stopped drinking and smoking since she's been pregnant? No, she hasn't. She still constantly goes out Thursday through Monday night, and I'm picking her up every night. And she's throwing up, and she's just out hanging out all, all kinds of hours of the night, 3 and 4 in the morning. She's called me to pick her up, and she's you, outside at You bars. sound like you're tired of this. I'm tired of her. I'm very sick and tired of her. She should grow up. What does she do? What do you end up doing when you pick her up? I pick her up, and the next stoplight we go to, she's puking. She's opening the car door, and she's puking. Is, is this a regular thing with her? This is a regular thing. This is Thursday through Monday. How pregnant are you? Three and a half months. Three and a half months pregnant. How often do you do this? I don't drink that much. She's lying. I smoke more than I drink. See, that's all. You know what I mean? I just smoke more than I drink. Okay, but... If you don't like it, I'll pull out a cigarette right now. Hold on, you want, hold, you want on, a cigarette? hold on, hold on. Hold on. All right. See how ignorant she is? You see how she's acting? It's, you see how she's acting? None of that, man. You see how she's, she doesn't care. 
She doesn't care. It's not that I don't care, well, but it's well, just... Well, why did you even pull that out when, when this woman sitting right next to you said, don't? Because, it look, it's not a baby right now. It's just a blood clot. It's not a baby. She is so ignorant. She is so ignorant. She is so... She doesn't care. She's rude. She just does not care. She doesn't care. She mixes her alcohol. She'll drink on vodka and rum and orange. She just mixes all her liquor. She doesn't care about anything. Listen, listen. First of all, I don't want you smoking on my stage. And secondly... And secondly, I'm sorry. I, 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 I'm, almost, I'm so bothered by the idea she called a baby a blood clot. Did you hear that? You know what? I want to share this with the audience, because there's something you said to our producers. Can you give me my packet here? This is, this is your quote. You said, so what if the baby gets drunk inside of me? If the baby gets born addicted to alcohol, then we can just drink together. And she means every bit of that, too. If, if you feel this way, why are you having the baby anyway? Why don't you just get an abortion? Why are you worried about it? It's my business. It's my baby. Right, you should worry about it. Right, but there are thousands of women out there who want to have a baby. So they let them deal with their but, part. But, I have nothing to do with them. But you're taking this for granted. That's my baby, though. It's, it's my baby. But, but get this. She, this woman has a right to worry like everybody does because maybe it's your baby, but it's our world. But you it's know my what? baby. And, and we all have some responsibility to each other. Yeah, stand up, please. <laughs> my question to all these ladies here is, are y'all thinking about your babies? What if you have your baby, and you have, God forbid, you know, your baby comes out with a birth defect. How will y'all feel then? Y'all wouldn't feel good at all. Because then, not, not on top of that, you have to take care of your babies, but if they have a birth defect, that's a whole lot of extra money in your pocket that y'all probably ain't got. So just take care of your baby. All right, let me introduce to you my next guest. Also sitting on the stage are Brenda and Omar. Now, Omar, yeah. what's wrong with the way Brenda acts? The way Brenda acts, you know what I'm saying? Before Brenda was pregnant, you know what I'm saying, I can understand the smoking and drinking and partying. But now she, you know what I'm saying, she laid down and did what she did. Now she got to worry about a baby. And she's still going through all this, you know what I'm saying, all that smoking. That's, okay, I mean, but I'm that saying, cool. I, I understand that you got much love for me and all that. But if you so worried, I mean, how come when you call me, you be saying you got five on it? I'm like, saying, I'm saying, like, though. Can you come over me? Brenda, Brenda, Brenda. Brenda, hold on. Translate for us. What is what five on it mean? He got five on it. He calls me, say, yo, B, I got five on it. I be like, what you mean? So yo, I got five. You got five dollars. Let's get a dime. You know what I'm saying? He'll Check come over out. here with the weed, fire my head up, and then he want to preach you later. You switching the focus off of Whatever. You, you know I don't see that, though. She's, you switching the whole Charles, focus off of you. Though. I'm saying right. we talking right. about you right Let's now. That's another show. Here, Charles, first of all, I want to say um, smoking and drinking ain't good for nobody. I got six years clean myself. Good for you. And I want to ask the, um, <laughs> I want to ask the father up there. I want to ask the, uh, the young man up there in the purple, though. He was saying that he was getting high, you know, with them, saying if he's so concerned about his baby and what? she's pregnant, why would he get high with her? You know, I don't understand that. Clifford. You're talking about you choose between me and you. You was getting high before she was pregnant. Why do she was pregnant? So why can't, you know, how... How can he, you know, give it a type of ultimatum? I don't understand. Yeah, Clifford, you, you set up an you ultimatum. You like said it. Said. You said it's you or the drugs. I set an ultimatum for her already, and if, you know. Well, why don't, why don't why don't you join in that? She don't want to even do it. Wait, why don't you join in that? Why don't you say that you'll because support her? They all taken care of. And all I got to do, as soon as she had her babies. I, she don't want to do right with it. Hey, I got custody of him. There ain't no problem. Wait, me. no, no, but the point is, the point is, if you care about this woman, why not help because her with I this? I told her to stop, and she won't stop. So No, hey, but no, we're not talking about her now. Me. We're talking about you. We're talking about you. If you care about her, why don't you stop? Do you have a good reason? He doesn't want to stop. He, he obviously no, loves what he's smoking more than he loves her. Is that true? Nope. Not really. I love her. You want her to stop, but yeah, and still you gonna still be smoking and all that. Because I mean, listen, if you gotta be strong, she can't be strong for herself. Then you need to be strong for her too. If you sitting there telling her, but I'm standing right talking to you. If you telling her, you telling her to stop, you need to stop too. Be strong for her. Support her. You know what I'm saying? Hold up. Hold up. How's she gonna kick knowledge, you know what I'm saying? How you gonna kick knowledge and you ain't you contradicting yourself, you know what I'm saying? You do the same thing I'm saying. You do the same, but you do the same. I ain't pregnant though. Yeah. I ain't got Oh my god, he, he yeah. was just hold on, hold on, hold on. Brenda, Brenda. Hold on. What do you want to say to Clifford, Clifford? What do you want custody for? So you could teach him how to smoke? Sure. The same thing yep. you don't yep. know how to yep. do? Yep. Go Good point. Don't go away. There's a lot more of this when we return. Be right back.
Come back over here to you guys. I want to talk to you. What's going on? What do you think about this? For tickets, write to The Charles Perez Show, 514 West 57th Street, New York, New York, 10019. Or give us a call at 1-800-594-4466. Here's a promise from Sterling Bank and Trust. Open a savings account with us for at least $200, and we'll issue you a Visa or MasterCard or both, regardless of income, employment, or credit history. Guaranteed. Call now to open your account. Your approval is guaranteed. Plus, with our express service, your card will be mailed 10 days after we receive your application and savings deposit. Whether you're starting out or starting over, we promise you will be approved. It's here, at last. A contact lens for people who thought they couldn't wear contacts. A contact lens that lets your eyes receive more of what they need most, oxygen. Introducing Envision. It isn't like ordinary hard or soft contacts. It's made of a new material that allows plenty of oxygen to enter your cornea. So your eyes can breathe easier with less irritation and discomfort. Envision. Envision can be worn by just about anyone. Even people with sensitive eyes, drier eyes, astigmatism. Envision has an ultra smooth surface so it's much easier to clean than a soft lens and much easier to handle too. Open your eyes to Envision. Call now for your free information kit about the contact lens for people who thought they couldn't wear contacts. Call 1-800-860-1208 or ask your eye care professional about Boston Envision. Vanilla Fields. Only nature could inspire so perfect a fragrance. The city never sleeps. When we go home, the professional cleaners go to work with their pro-strength cleaning formulas, like Pro 409 Spray Cleaner. Super concentrated for the toughest cleaning jobs. To clean like a pro, get Pro 409. I'm Dr. William Rader. You and I know you're in pain. No, I'm not going to do it. You and I know that you feel guilty and out of control with your eating. But what I know, and you don't, is that it's not your fault, and you certainly are not alone. Eating disorders are a treatable disease. Professional help is now available. Charles, I definitely don't think that a pregnant woman should party too hard. There's so much infertility problems, they shouldn't risk a healthy baby at all. I think that women who choose to get pregnant should also choose to be responsible. All right, we're back with pregnant women who won't stop partying. Now, Brenda, um, when he tells you all this, when he gets on your case about this, what do you say to him? How do you defend yourself? I argue with him. I mean, he, he got a strong point, and he loves me. He doesn't want anything bad to happen well, what's to me. Your, what's I, your I, point, I, though? I, my point is, I'm 26. I'm grown. I'm going to do what I want to do. I'm looking out for me. I'm not, I'm saying... I'm not going to hurt but my do you, baby. Do you hear how some people think that's selfish? Do you hear how some people think that's selfish? I'm not saying, but that's them. You know, don't judge me until you walk in my shoes and you can't do that. But, but what, about, what about the baby, though? What See, about the not, baby? They're not taking care of my child. They're not putting no food in the refrigerator for my child. They're not putting no clothes in the But does that mean you have a right to do anything to your that's child you want? Right. You know what I'm saying? No. What they going to do? But, but Angela, if my baby needs diapers, if my baby needs diapers, I'm going to come out there and say, yo, you right there, you want to get my baby some diapers? What, so they're not allowed to care about your kid? I'm saying it's all good. You know, they can care if they want to, but they're not getting up with this baby. This is me. But does this mean you have a right to do anything you want to the baby? Do you have a right to do anything you want to your baby? It's my child. So you can do anything you want to your baby, you think? You think you can do anything you want to your baby? I'm not going to hurt my child. Physically hurt my child, I'm not going to hurt Are you hurting your child right now? No, I don't think I am. You don't believe you are? Well, you need to read up on something like that, man. But I'm saying you don't even know life. Shut up. I'm just telling you. I'm telling you. To the second child right there, I want to say to her, first of all, first of all, you keep saying that nobody in this audience should care about your child. They're not doing anything for you. Well, when you receive your first welfare check, that means... I get 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 that means... I
child. And for you and the blonde, are you three months pregnant? Okay, by three months, a child has a brain, a child has a heart, a child has all well-developed front organs in their body. So for you calling it a blood clot, that doesn't show too much. So what's important? So, 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 stop wasting all that money on the drugs. Why don't y'all save it and buy stuff for the baby? Go ahead. First of all, I don't spend all my money on drugs. Okay, I have a job. I'm not on welfare. And not everybody is on welfare that right. gets pregnant, okay? I have a job and I go to school. So I, I go to school, honey. I, I go to school. I'm in college, so I don't know what nobody's talking about. How many of you think this is a form of child abuse? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> I have a job. Stand up, here, huh? You said you have a job going out and coming in the house back in with money. That's your job. That's that is not my job. Okay, and for you to be sitting up here saying that you're a role model, getting up, shaking your behind in national TV is not no good role model. All right, we come back. We'll meet a woman who says she was smoking crack when her baby was born, and now she lives to regret it. Yeah, stand up here. What do you want to say? I would like to know to um, all the ladies... Oh, I guess they're not listening to me. Go ahead. But to all the ladies, do y'all want your kids drinking and smoking after y'all have them? You know what I'm saying? And if yeah. not, why are y'all doing this? That's what they do Do you now. think the kids will drink and smoke? Probably. If you've been seriously injured in any kind of accident, the law limits the time you have to file your claim. Time may be running out. You need a lawyer who will work quickly to get you money for your injuries. Call the injury helpline now and speak to a lawyer near you for free, one who works hard to get what you deserve and who gets paid only when you collect money. The insurance companies have lawyers working hard on their side, and so should you. Call 1-800-346-1550. It's coming. The misery of a cold and the power to fight it. All the power of Alka-Seltzer Plus cold medicine is taking shape in Alka-Seltzer Plus liquid gels. Rushing concentrated medicines to relieve your worst cold symptoms. Rush relief with Alka-Seltzer Plus liquid gels. Got the flu? Try new Alka-Seltzer Plus flu and body aches liquid gels. Disrespectful. On the next Charles Perez, meet teens who are out of control. He beats up their sisters at home. Their friends and family have had enough. I told her that she had to follow the rules, and if she couldn't follow the rules, she'd have to find someplace else. Are these kids really at fault? At 18, whatever I'm doing now is because of how I was brought up before. Uncontrollable teens. I will not find it because if I hit them, I will go to jail. On the next Charles Perez. If you need extra strength medication to treat prickly heat, you're not alone. I had a heat rash. Prickly heat, really uncomfortable. Now you can solve your prickly heat problems with Extra Strength Gold Bond Medicated Powder. I find the cooling of the menthol really comfortable. Extra Strength Gold Bond has Extra Strength Triple Action. We take our proven absorbing action, then add more medication for itch relief and extra zinc oxide for drying action. I definitely will continue to use Extra Strength Gold Bond. Extra Strength Gold Bond Medicated Powder. As you know, Kellogg's is the raisin brand that tastes so good, people forget it's good for them. I didn't forget. Forget what? That it tastes good. No. Oh. People forget Kellogg's raisin brand is good for you. How could they forget with all these raisins? Of course it tastes good. No. Good for you. For you. Wouldn't it be great if it was also good for you? Mmm. Huh? Save up to $7 on the Star Wars trilogy from Kellogg's raisin brand. Star Wars, the original version on video. One last time. All right, we're back with women who are abusing their bodies while they're pregnant. Um, now, before I introduce my next guest, Brenda, was there something you wanted to say? Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Y'all, you know, it's, it's okay. No, I don't see no brainwash. I don't see no brainwash. And if I was you, I'd try to go get my hair redone before you start talking. You know what I'm saying? Hold on, hold on. But what I'm saying is that, you know, I understand 
there's a lot of babies that are born with birth defects due to the drugs that people have taken and drunk and all that other stuff like that. Yeah. But I have a seven-year-old and I have a, a three-year-old soon to be four in November and they are very healthy. Well, that's besides the point, though. They are very they're healthy. Very, oh, okay. But you know what? That's besides the point. Seven ounces, you know seven what? Hold on here because I, th I think you were healthy. lucky. But let me introduce my next guest. Let's hear what she thinks. Please welcome my next guest, Sarah. Now, Sarah, how can you relate to these women? Because at the age of 29, um, at this time I was a drug addict for 23 years. I got pregnant. Um, and I was abusing drugs up to the time I had my child. And how did that affect your child? My baby is six years old and she's like 35 pounds. You think I don't live with the guilt every day in my life? You know, she wears glasses, very thick glasses for reading. Her eyes are bad. Um, I live with this every day in my life. You know, I was sitting back in the control room listening to everybody. You know, when you got up and you bent over to tell somebody to kiss your butt? Yo, baby, let me tell you something. That's not the way. That's not the way. Because you're pregnant, you're abusing drugs. That's child abuse first off. Yeah. It's your business. Like you say, yes, right at this point, it's your business. Once that child comes out, God forbid it's healthy, you no, know, God willing, it's healthy, that's the state's business. Mm -hmm. The state will sweep that to me. They did it to me. I have to deal with. But let me tell you something else, all right? In the first month, the baby starts forming. In the second month, the baby's mm -hmm. organs start forming. In the third month, the baby's susceptible to anything that goes into your system. You see, you know, Sarah, you bring, up, you bring up a real good point, which is that whether it is nature or God or whatever you believe in, you're trusted with the care of this child before it's born. And, and I don't know if any of you really realize that, do you? Do you realize that? I mean, do, do you have... Do you, you don't do realize, realize it? it? I do realize it. You do you realize you're trusted realize with the care of this child? It's not like it's right. just your property, like a chair, and you can right. go break it or do whatever you want with it. It's a blood clot. Yes, yeah, Sarah, go ahead. Oh, um, like I said, I was back in the control room listening to everybody speak. Where are the mothers in this? Our mother, Mama. Where are your mothers in this? You are so young. You are so young. Kathy? My mother, I'm with my mother, and she tried to talk to me about it, but I'm going to do what I want to do. I'm on my own. I take care of myself. And chances are that these kids will come into the world and they'll do the same thing again. Chances are. Don't people it's tend to repeat behavior? It's very sad because um, I was sitting back there, like I said, I was burning up. I was burning up because yeah. of the experiences that I had. These are facts. Facts. You know, because the state has my child since she was born for six years up to today. And I'm drug free three years. Because you know what, realize this, I want to get some audience questions here, but realize this, it doesn't mean that your child will necessarily be radically deformed, but what if your child's just a little slower? What if your child just isn't quite as smart? What if your child doesn't have all the opportunities they would have had if maybe you just didn't get high while you were pregnant? You know? Excuse me, for the first lady, the first two, three ladies, first of all, like she was saying, that is a crime, but don't you know it's a sin what you're doing? That baby depends upon y'all. Because that baby don't know nothing but his mother. And the lady, the lady about the blood clot, let me explain something to you, young lady. I understand you work and all that, but a baby is something pure. That's something God bless you with. I'm not no reverend or none of that, but I'm going to tell you something. It's a sin, and y'all need to check yourself. And about another thing, what she was saying, y'all all need to go to the library and start looking up law, because y'all can go to jail. She has a question. This is your mother? Okay. Yes, okay. Listen, I got to, listen, ladies, let me tell you something. From the time that baby comes within you or whatever, it's already a being, okay? Before the sister that said it's a blood clot, I got a problem with you, honey. I got a serious Stop problem with you. Stop listening to you sit down. Don't even worry about it. I got a very serious problem. You need to look under them books and see what a baby is, okay? I know what a baby is, okay? And Brenda, this is for you, honey. I don't mean no harm, baby, okay? Just because he called you and said he got five on it, don't mean you got to jump on it, okay? I never do. I never do. I don't. I see you. You know, honest to God, to be beautiful black women, you're stupid women. And you with the blood clock, you got a brain clock, baby. Cause that color.
You know, we're going to break. We'll be right back. Don't go away. Go ahead. What college? What college you go to? I just want to know what college you go to. You know, what college you go to? Introducing the Charles Perez Players. You have no idea how crazy my ex-girlfriend was. Why? What does she do? Oh, now? she's just psychotic. Waitress? What can I get you, Dean? <gasps> Are you sabotaging your ex's new relationship, or is your ex ruining yours? If so, give me a call at 1-800-424-1555. Come share in the joy and wonder of the holiday season. You could win a trip to Chicago for the magnificent Mile Lights Festival and experience shopping on Michigan Avenue. You'll fly American Airlines, stay at the Sheraton Chicago Hotel and Towers, and receive VIP passes to the magnificent Mile Lights Festival. Send a postcard with your name, age, address, and phone number to Lights Festival. WGN-TV Chicago, 60618. And see Chicago's Michigan Avenue transformed into a breathtaking holiday spectacle. Why get only half the workout on an ordinary treadmill when you could get a total body workout? Introducing the incredible new WalkFit from Nordic Track. WalkFit's unique design lets you exercise your upper body and lower body at the same time. You get a fast, effective, total body workout that burns up to 1,000 calories per hour. Whether your goal is to lose weight, tone muscles, or relieve stress, you can do it all with the WalkFit total body treadmill from Nordic Track. WalkFit gives you a 53% greater cardiovascular workout than on ordinary treadmills, and you can burn up to 79% more calories. And WalkFit has no motor. It's safe and easy to use. Unlike motorized treadmills, you control the pace. There's no herky-jerky starts and stops. Call our toll-free number now and receive a free information pack video and full-color brochure showing how you can get started on an enjoyable exercise program you'll stick with. Don't settle for half the workout when you can get a superior total body workout with Nordic Tracks WalkFit. Call today and get a 30-day in-home trial and two-year limited warranty. After all, it's from Nordic Track. Mentident users, ask your dentist about Arm & Hammer PeroxiCare. Our dentist gave us a reason to try a different baking soda and peroxide toothpaste. Arm & Hammer PeroxiCare. The reason? More baking soda. Two out of three dentists recommend baking soda for healthy teeth and gums. And only PeroxiCare's patented formula gives you ten times more baking soda than Mentodent. No other baking soda and peroxide toothpaste gives us as much. Arm & Hammer PeroxiCare. Serious care for healthy teeth and gums. Get Arm & Hammer antiperspirant free when you buy Arm & Hammer toothpaste. Coupon in Sunday's paper. I'd like an onion and poppy. How about a whole wheat and an everything? These aren't bagels. Hey, no holes. Presenting new Manischewitz flavored mussels. Delicious fat-free crackers in your favorite bagel flavors. Made from the finest ingredients in original and new snack sizes. Mm. Mm. Hey, give me a savory garlic. Give him a plain. I don't even miss the holes. New Manischewitz flavored mussels. Great bagel taste, great cracker crunch. Man, oh man, it's lovely. If you'd like a video cassette copy of this show, send $29.95 to Burrell's, P.O. Box 7, Livingston, New Jersey, 07039. Or call 1-800-777-TEXT, T-E-X-T. -E All right, we're back. You had a comment or question you want to say here? Okay, go ahead. Yeah, um, nothing we're going to say is going to change their minds until when their babies are born, and they're born either slow or with birth defects, and then they're going to have to pay for all that. And they're going put to your, put yourself in the baby's shoes, you know what I'm saying? If your mom was smoking, you know what I'm saying? How would you feel if you're slow, you know what I'm saying, or missing an arm or something? Is that what you're going to do then? Well, you know, they, they, you actually brought up a really good question, which, do your moms do that, or did they do it when you were pregnant? Kathy? Yeah, obviously. I don't know. I don't think so. Do you know, Jet? Do, do any of you know if your moms did? My mom never um, no. got high. Okay, My but you're also not doing this. No, I never okay. got high. Uh, Sarah, do you have a thought you want to leave us with? She got high with me the other day. She's talking about she never got high. I'm not pregnant if I did. But why are you going to sit here and you ain't get high? I'm not okay. pregnant if hold, I did. Hold on, ladies. Hold on. What do you want to leave us with? What kind of thought? There's a couple of things, a couple of comments that I, I feel I need to say. You know, before you open your legs, ladies, check your minds, your hearts, and your souls, and the motive for why you want to get pregnant. That's the first thing. The second thing is when my daughter was born, she was cocaine positive. They put a neo neonatal. Women that drink and smoke pot had babies in there that broke my heart. They were on ventilators. Two of them had no feet. This is what happens just from pot and drinking. Yeah. So check yourselves before you wreck yourselves. I hear yourself you, Sarah. Thank you for sharing that, Sarah. 
I'm saying y'all my beautiful black sisters and everything, but y'all gotta think that we, when black people come out, we already have, we already down, you know what I'm saying? You gotta go to college, you gotta start up. If you gonna, your child is slow, mm -hmm. if your child is slow, they ain't coming up, you know what I'm saying? So you smoking that pot, you know what I'm saying? You gotta chill with that. Yeah. All right, stand up, please. I just want to know what they're gonna. Uh, what's the, what, are you, what are you? What's in store for your future? What are you guys? Well, um, <laughs> Kathy, what about your future? What's in store for you and your child? For my child, well, I'll be the best parent I can to it. I may smoke weed, whatever, but if it don't, it's gonna learn about it anyway. If I, if, I'd rather learn from me before I learn from somebody else off on the street. Excuse me. If you want to be the best parent for your child, why didn't you start the day you found out you were pregnant? That's the best. Thing. You know what, Sarah? The same reason you ain't stopped. The same reason you learned, didn't stop. But I learned. I'm clean three well, years. Thank you. Mistake. I'm clean let three let years. Mistake. Good for you, Sarah. You know what, ladies? Before we go, I want to know something. I'm going to go down the row here. Did any of you learn anything from listening to Sarah or just some of the comments people made? Kathy, are you going to change your behavior at all? Are you going to change your behavior at all? Ain't nothing wrong with my behavior. So no. Jet, are you going to change your behavior at all? Yes, I'm going to change my behavior. Great. Good for you. <laughs> Let me go down the road. Same thing. What do you think? I think uh, I'm going to change my behavior, not just for my fiance or friends. Uh, I'm going to change it for my twins. <laughs> No. Hold, Brandon, hold, hold on, hold on, hold on a second. Go ahead. <laughs> well, I'll change, but not right now. Not until I'm ready to. You'll, you won't change. So, and if, what if you're not ready to it all during your pregnancy? Then you're not. It's not ready. The baby will be all disordered. Do you know what? I just hope to God her, her child never knows that his or her mother referred to them as a blood clot. Brenda, is there going to be any change in your behavior? No. No. All right. You know what? That's problem, man. That's, that's... Hold, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. There's something that's called fetal alcohol syndrome. And this is something that's not just a childhood disorder. It can stay with you for the rest of your life or stay with your unborn kids for the rest of their lives. If you care at all about the future of your unborn baby, you won't drink and do drugs while you're pregnant. We'll see you next time. Bye. there.